we're, while we're rolling. I feel like I, I need to start and present everything this way today. That's what happens when you watch an hour and a half of an Apple event. Welcome to the Big Rewind, where we just hit 1,209 nine subscribers. Woo! Really? Six other people in this room? There we go. I don't appreciate the lack of enthusiasm. We watch everything on the internet so that you don't have to. So before we get fully into today's video, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos. With that said, my name is Eric Zachary, and on today's Big Rewind. Apple's latest iPhone announcement is actually pretty awesome. A 10-year-old and a University of Tennessee stand up to bullying, and Cardi B has another message for the haters. I don't even know where to start with this Apple. We just literally watched an hour and 45 minutes of it, and the thing that I've taken away the most, the outfits. We need to do like a fashion rundown. Oh, these people know this event's happening. Who is dressing them? Who is? Yeah. Like when we talk about Trump so that we'll get engagement. Exactly. And people think that, you can negatively comment all you want. You're still commenting on my video, huh? Big takeaways, they announced Apple Arcade, a whole new gaming ecosystem where you pay $4.99 per month for the entire family subscription, pretty cool. They have access to a bunch of new awesome games. They have a brand new Apple Watch they announced uh, that has an always on feature. So like my Apple Watch is off, usually unless I look at it, it remains on in a dim mode. Some other cool health features along with that. And then the real announcement of the entire event, the iPhone 11 and the iPhone 11 Plus. Now here's really quick, down and dirty, what you need to know between the difference. Uh, the iPhone 11 is basically the iPhone X or XR with two cameras. One is super wide, and then you have a standard. But that's about it. Other than that, a newer phone, faster uh, memory, a little bit better battery, I think by a, an hour over the XR. But the real cool phone is the iPhone 11 Pro. Now there's two versions. There's the standard with the iPhone 11 Pro uh, Max. Now they're both essentially the same phone, just a different screen diameter. It's not like in the past where the Plus tends to have better features than the other models. This is just literally a different screen size. Uh, the real winner, though, is the third camera. So you have a telephoto camera, you have a standard wide, and then you have an ultra wide, um, which gives you quite the flexibility. But the real cool feature, and probably the first thing that I think Justin and I, and we were all talking about this in the office, that we haven't seen featured on another phone, um, with Apple's notorious for taking something that's already been out and just making it a little more polished or Applefied, um, is the multi-cam recording feature. Essentially, it allows you to record from different cameras video at the same exact time. Uh, essentially, yeah, four cameras, four angles, because you could even set up a tripod in the middle and have two subjects in an interview, and it can record both sides, and you can flip between A, B cams, as we call it in the industry, or uh, essentially A, B, C, D cams, which is pretty wild. Um, they upgraded the selfie camera to a 12 megapixel, which is amazing. It allows slow motion, so they have this new thing called Slomies? Slofies. I think Slomies sounds better. All in all, actually surprised how low the pricing is for these various phones, and they're offering a trade-in program too. So let's say you have an iPhone X, like myself. You can trade that in, you select which phone you want. I have an X, it's in good condition. And it brings down the prices dramatically. So I'm starting at $599 for the Pro, $749 for the second tier, uh, $949 for the third tier. If you have an even newer phone, you can get even more money, up to $600 if you have an XS Max. Uh, my suggestion, if you're in a major metropolitan city, you go to Craigslist and you sell it yourself. Just make sure you do it in a safe way. Meet in a public place. Only use cash. These are lessons that I've learned over the time. Uh, but if you're in New York, for, for example, like we are, an iPhone X, 256 gigs unlocked. It's going between $500 and $700, depending on how fast you need to sell it and if it was legally purchased or not. Uh, we take you to Tennessee. This is actually a really, well, it starts off sad, but ends up being a pretty cool story. A fourth grader, um, as most schools do during Spirit Weeks, they had a college team day where you were encouraged to wear your favorite college team's shirt or apparel to school. Now, he didn't have a UT Vols shirt, so he was actually really creative. He had a yellow or a orange shirt, and he took a piece of paper, and he made it himself. And yeah, at first glance, you're like, okay. But also, he's 10. This is very creative, and I think it, it's kind of cool. Um, he gets to school, and he's very excited to show this to his teacher, and she's proud of him, and she gives him words of affirmation, as all teachers should. I'm looking at you, Miss Campbell, who told me that I was a failure. 
That's a true story. I would have a lawsuit now if you have a teacher. Look at me now. Look at me now. It's Campbell. She was very excited to see the shirt. And then he went to lunch, and apparently he got bullied pretty bad, which sucks. People were making fun of him because he didn't have proper attire. His parents couldn't afford real college shirts, which is just upsetting. That's not OK. Um, so the teacher put it on Facebook. And not only did it get attention, but the University of Tennessee saw it and decided to take it as far as creating their own version of the shirt. Right here, you asked for it, and the UT Vol Shop made it happen. They made it part of their actual stores. And it's not only sold out, it, sh it crashed the site. It, the server, yeah. it was the most successful thing to happen to the Vols this year. Cool though. Anyway, it crashed the site. Uh, I guess it's not even very available everywhere anymore because it's completely sold out. Love this story. UT should offer him a scholarship, pass it on. Okay, this is where I get a little like, yes, the kid, he was bullied and that's sad. He's, he's a 10 year old. Let's not get, this is like the same kind of person and it's like, create a good fund me and pay for his next 55 years of life. If I was his age, I would have gotten back in the day. <laughs> wow, I sounded so old. Turn 28 tomorrow, and I start talking about how I walk uphill both ways in the snow to school. No, but like you would get like a, a scratch and sniff sticker, or maybe recognition. This kid got full-on recognition in his own shirt from a university. That's amazing. Um, okay, in the vein of interesting, unique stories, uh, and I guess educational. If you want to learn from mistakes those bullies learn from their mistake treat the kid as he's cool everyone's cool everyone has those right uh, this woman should learn to first of all not drive drunk but second of all if you do which I cannot stress this enough Eric Zachary does not recommend or condone don't call the police on yourself police say a woman was arrested for driving under the influence after she called to report a drunk driver so according to a probable cause statement, 32-year-old Brianna Don Hernandez was drunk herself and she called 911 while she was in Woods Cross on August 16th. A police affidavit noted she was laughing uncontrollably and burping on the phone and described herself and her car. Hernandez was arrested for DUI and drinking alcohol in a vehicle. Oh man, okay. She describes herself. I know. She, she describes herself. She's giggling. She's laughing. We all know this person. Like, we all have someone in our life that would do this and be like, yeah, it's a typical trace. Also, Woods Cross, where she was pulled over. I don't know if she's from Woods Cross, but that's where this occurred. Has a population of 11,000 people. To put that in perspective, my high school, upon graduating, had a class of 650, 2,500 kids total. The odds of them figuring out who this was, even if she didn't describe herself, pretty high. And actually, I'm more impressed that she was able to get drunk in Utah. And that's the Mormon state, right? That's where it's, you can't drink ever. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, you can, but like Sundays, it's, it's really hard. And like all the alcohols, I guess, have lower AP, ABVs. My friend lives in Salt Lake City right now. I should call her. She probably won't answer. Let's see how face it. She's probably at a bar. <laughs> Knowing her. At an airport bar, I am you. Are you at an airport bar in Salt Lake City? No. Oh. Okay. Quick question. Are there bars in Salt Lake City or in Utah in general? Yes. But what's like the restrictions? Um, I think here it's like 3%. Okay. So it's like water. It's like water down here. Yeah. I literally had this conversation with my Uber driver this morning. Yes. Any other follow-up questions? That's it. Thank you. There you have it. That worked out way better than I thought it was going to. <laughs> I love that she was in a bar. <laughs> I <laughs> told you. The weekend showed up at TIFF is Toronto International Film Festival, yeah? Um, this is not the weekend. I mean, it's the weekend, but that's not what I was expecting to see when you think of the weekend. He, he looks like a combination of, like, three different people, I feel like. Like, Richard Pryor meets Bruno Mars, I guess, meets the weekend. The, the mustache is what's throwing me off the most. It's not the hair. To give you an idea, if you aren't familiar with... The weekend's more signature look. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So he, he had the dreads intentionally styled that way. And then he cut them down for a way cleaner look. And he lost a lot of weight, too. Queen Cardi B. I'm a Cardi fan. I have been since she roasted me on the VMA's red carpet three years ago. Who are the other two that you're including? Me and this motherfucker. 
TLC. I look, I don't feel the same TLC. I'm so. Uh, she speaks the truth. I'll always give her that. So when she had some people shaming both her body and her plastic surgery over the last couple months, if not year, she decided to speak out against it, as Cardi does. I don't like talking shit up about bitch's body because I remember the struggle, baby. I remember when I had no motherfucking titties and I remember when I had a fun size ass. I only call my people with, with, with about their body when they talk shit about me. But let me tell you motherfucking something. What is this look, though? I mean, I, I'm in it, in for it, but it's very Harley Quinn. Filter on it. It's, yeah, I thought it was a filter on her snap. No, it's, I mean, it's, 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 it's not that the hair would have used snap though. Y'all be on the bitches that they, they be getting I mean, it looks saying, fantastic. Oh, body's fake. Oh, plastic this, plastic that. Long story short, between a series of pictures and appearances of the last couple months and her new trailer for Hustler, which is a new Jennifer Lopez led film, which we'll play a trailer for in a second, uh, people decided to start hating her up and say, Yo, what are you doing to your body? Why are you changing your face so much? Why are you doing this, 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 this? And she goes, Hey, it's not your problem. This doesn't affect you. you cannot echo that sentiment enough, doesn't affect you, why does it matter? Don't let her do her. She feels better, great. Uh, this is the trailer, Hustlers, play a little bit of it. It has a 96 on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, baby, we're gonna help her learn how to do a, a real dance. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm good at that. Show them what you got. These Wall Street guys. You want them drunk enough to get their credit card? But sober enough to sign a check. Hustlers comes out on Friday. It has an amazing Rotten Tomatoes score, which is very impressive. It's not easy to do. Also, the Joker is getting crazy, crazy awesome reviews. Uh, so I'm excited to see all the movies that are coming out. Very awesome. I wish we could end this with a uh, proper slow fee. So what frame rate are we shooting in right now? 30. Oh, so we can't even do it. I want to do like a six. Hang on. No, we don't need to switch it. I'm going to do it on my phone. We're going to do a fake. This is how you hold yourself over with a slow fee. Can you wind? Do we have wind? Oh, here we go. Ready? <coughs> That's it for today's Big Rewind. <laughs> For our most recent video, click over here. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you for putting up with today's just mess of an episode, but I feel like we informed you. I'll see you tomorrow right here on The Big Rewind. My name's Eric Zachary. That... <coughs>